G'day, good morning. Um, today I just want to be a very quick video about shame and how difficult shame makes our life, how difficult we allow shame to make our life. You know, shame shame sucks, man. There's, no, there's nothing good that comes out of it. It's not really one of those things that, you know, you endure for a greater outcome or, or whatever. Sometimes it's just really debilitating. There's two things I think that I want to talk about really quickly about shame. The first thing is being able to differentiate whether the shame that you carry and live with and live and breathe every day, whether that is your shame or somebody else's. I know that the majority of my shame comes from a history of trauma and, and other people's interventions and actions on me. And so therefore that shame that I live with isn't really mine. And I, for the most part, am able to give that back to the people who are actually responsible for it. So I think that's the first thing that's really kind of interesting and important is, is the shame yours? Secondly, then, um, I think there's a real distinction that should be made between guilt and shame. Guilt is actually really healthy in a lot of ways. It can be a bit toxic, but it can actually be sort of helpful and fruitful and, and give us boundaries and, and teach us, you know, what's embarrassing and what's not, um, you know, what's debilitating and what's not. I think the really big distinction that needs to be made, though, is guilt says, I did something bad. Shame says, I am bad. And that can be the difference between healthy guilt and a debilitating shame. So maybe just keep that in mind uh, as you go through your day and through this week. Is the guilt, is the shame yours that you're carrying? And first, and then is it really shame or is it guilt? Guilt says, I did a bad thing. Shame says, I am 